two. Here it is, hostel and hostel. Connect. And we need to go ahead and connect. So when I go ahead and connect, let me, let me just recap the things. Can I do hardware clustering in two of the different hardwares? Yes. How many link cards are required? Minimum two. It can be done on one also because the one network card can be used as a mixed network. So by default, it is private and public. Uh, private and mix. So we need to show you that practically. The heartbeat frequency is one second. After five seconds, the arbitration gets triggered. But as the second network card is um, mixed network, so it will try from the second. And after 10 seconds, the arbitration process gets triggered and the failure process starts after that. We also saw that the database of the cluster is in file called as plus TV. So quorum contains the updates for the nodes coming online and used for the arbitration process. And uh, yeah, and uh, what else we learned? Uh, we saw there are different type of quorums. Shared quorum, if shared quorum is there, the disk is the single point of failure. And this goes down, then both the nodes are waste. So they came up with MNS. MNS is nothing but majority node set. So we require is uh, odd node combinations. So if one of the nodes goes down, chances are there that still it could get into the split range. It will work till the majority of the nodes is there, like majority of eight is fine. Yeah. And there could be a risk of uh, split brain coming up in the picture in the even nodes. So we made a combination of two and one, that is MNS plus this fitness. Then this is still a single point of failure because if MNS goes and this goes down, then it's a problem. Because I still have three nodes out of eight, and this goes down, it becomes a single point of failure. So we we'll go for file share witness, and the file share never goes down because we are taking it up for, as a DFS file share, which will never go down and which is uh, replicated to multiple servers and can be used for geo sizing of clusters, can be replicated to a remote site also. Also, we have a terminology of active passive, active, active, and hybrid. Yes, active passive, active, active, and hybrid. Now, what is this active passive? If I go ahead and install exchange here, do I need to install exchange on my second node also? Or it will fail over automatically? Need to install. Durgesh, I will cut your marks. Is it a soul or what that it will fly from one server to another server? You need to install Exchange here. Okay. Strong correction required, Durgesh. That's okay. Chill. Again, I'm repeating my voice is Dolby Stereo. So don't mind. So here the services are stopped. Same thing, you need to install, you need to install. Without that, it is not going to work. And I will also teach you what is always on. Absolutely right, Parvesh. Full marks to you. Yeah. I'm coming down here to I'm using file share witness. And the file share witness is one of the servers outside the cluster and it is holding some file share. Now, don't laugh on this diagram of file share. I'm just creating some folder with some shared yeah, I'm going into it, you know. <laughs> yeah, some file share I have created. And here. So let's take here. So it's a file share witness and this is the disk where the database is there. So mailbox db. I can say mdb. Yeah. So my mdb is over here, mailbox database. And this server is, see it is a disk and only one server can access at a time. 
So this server is active and this server is passive. I am a miser CTO. I always had a dream of uh, working as a CTO. So I achieved that dream. And uh, next year I'm getting retired. Yeah, I worked as a CTO also. 64 GP and 64 GP. It is free. And I'm a miser CTO. So what to do about this kind of stuff? So I can do it in this video also. I will install SQL here. I will install Super. So here. So this is the one that is there. The yellow color that you could see is the passive one. And I'm creating a SQL DB. So here I go ahead and say SQL DB. Change the color. And that's my SQL DB. Which is served by the second server. So here, active passive is not on the server basis. It is on the basis of application. So here, this server is active for exchange, passive for SQL, active for exchange, uh, active for SQL, passive for exchange. Is this point clear to everybody? I repeat, this server is active for exchange, passive for SQL, Active for SQL, passive for exchange. Super. Thank you, Abhishek. What about others? Is it clear? If my both the servers are serving exchange from different different disks, then both are active on exchange. The active passive works in this. Now here. Coming down to say the terminologies, so you understood what is active, passive, what is active, active. So if I go ahead and I say it, so what do you think this scenario is? This scenario is active, passive, right? Who am I? Few minutes before I told you earlier. Who am I? What is my role? Students, are we there in the class? Who am I? Miser CTO. Pay attention. So I'm a miser CTO. The scenario is exchange and it is after passive. So I thought of coming up with SQL. There is active and here is passive, the load gets double, so it is not recommended to go for it. Finally, I have to use the server, which is the 64 GB is pinching, it's taking resources. So I'll just go ahead and take a printer over here and I say that okay, this is my printer. And I what I do is I take this printer. And I attach it to this specific server local. I've attached this printer locally over here. So this server is now part of exchange cluster. This is part of exchange cluster. This is also part of exchange cluster, but it is also working as a standalone machine. So when you say it is working as a standalone machine, it is working in two different environments. Welcome Marvin to the class. Morning. Oh, it's at your end it is evening, good evening. What do you mean by a word terminology hybrid? The terminology 
hybrid means mix you are moving in hybrid cars you know you are thinking to buy a hybrid car but you are already moving up when you book a cab through a online cab over ola and you get is a wagoner car which is made up of petrol and cng kit diesel and cng so these are two technologies what is a hybrid car battery and a petrol it's not battery and petrol it's two technology that is the reason that we call it as hybrid what is hybrid and cloud and all that we are on premises we are cloud when we join together we are in hybrid so there are three terms that we have in cluster exchange active passive so this server is active this server is passive if i install sql here and i make active here with the another database and we have a passive sql that is active passive at an application level if i go ahead and make, i connect one more database here or i can give it like this i can give it here one more database over here so here this is the one the both are active but active active is not recommended because when it fails over the load gets double but this is pinching me this 64 gb is getting wasted it is active passive so what i am doing i'm attaching a local printer here so this specific server acts as a part of cluster also acts as a part of stand alone server also where printer failover will not come up this server dies or it will not fail over but yes when this server goes down this server can take the can act as the cluster server as well as a stand alone server this is hybrid model so when you are talking to customer you can opt for such technologies and terminologies while having a discussion with them try to the value to the customer oh you want to have a cluster do you want to use any hybrid in that what's hybrid you want to use it as a file and print server there will be no failover but yeah rather than wasting it some light application as a stand alone could be used where uh, failover is not required just in, it is free we can use it without affecting it yeah is this point clear to everybody so pa now time has come up for us to go ahead and deploy the cluster on host 1 and host 2 marvin as you have come a little bit late you missed out the agenda these are the topics which are pending from module 3 and module 4 especially in sql you guys are in windows and when you are working with clustering they might expect things from you about this so this is my to sell a hospital and hostel and earlier days what used to happen we used to have database here okay, this is my one disk this is my another disk okay i have disk over here which are lined up i can't draw this file share again and again so i'll do a copy paste it's difficult you know to draw that shared folder <laughs> forgive me for this Funny jokes that I crack here. Now what happens if I keep a database here? Okay, it's my database. My database is over here. Here and da da da. Finally, my database is here. So here. When this server goes down, and this server goes down, right? And this server goes down. This server goes. Down. The other server is there to take care. <laughs> My file share, everything, everything strong enough. It is in DFS. Wow! Fantastic. What about if the database goes down? Then both the servers are active. these two servers doing those two heroes champions 
those two servers which are there are absolutely a waste box because the database is down. And we say that, oh, we'll restore that. The database is a single point of failure. Nowadays, it is not like that. Take Exchange, take SQL, take any. Nowadays, the shared disk model that you see is only at a file server level. Okay? Now here, we don't want to keep the database here. What we are doing is, we believe, rather than keeping the database here, we'll keep the database here, and we'll keep the database here. And here, we're going to have a dedicated LAN. Yes. You remember blue color? Yeah. So these two LANs are dedicated LANs. There is no shame. So now technology is so much aware that whatever I have a database that is getting sync over here to each other, we don't need to worry about it. They're replicating it. This is called as SQL always on. Now you see, if this server goes down, I have the other server here with the database. If my database goes down, I have other server with the similar database. Is this point clear? Is this picture clear? SQL always on, exchange DAG. These are the ones. Yeah. DK, I have a so, question on this. Uh, is this uh, DAG you're explaining or uh, normal failover cluster? This is DAG. Okay. And these dedicated disks, they wouldn't show up in failover cluster manager, right? You would need to manage them from a DAG console or something? That is what uh, the, they say that you don't need a failover cluster now. You need... You would still need the CNO... Yeah, you need and those things? Yes, 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 yes. You still need a failover cluster service. You still need a computer account. Nowadays, what they are doing is yeah. they are creating a computer account and they are creating an entry in the configuration partitions also. So those things are still there in the background, but as the dedicated disks are not allowed in the failover clustering, so you don't require right. a failover cluster. But you require a failover cluster service. So this why we say that DAG requires DAG supports 16 copies. You are aware about that? I am not not too familiar with that. that. That's why I asked the question. Okay, sounds good. So I've seen a bit of it. Yeah. So why do we say that DAG supports 16 copies? Because your exchange is still working on if Windows Server 2008 R2 and Windows Server 2008 R2 support 16 nodes in a cluster. Clear? Yeah. That is the reason that we have a 16 copies of it, which is replicating it in the background. And this is a trend in the market that we don't want a single point of failure at the database level. So they are replicating the databases with their own technology like uh, lock shipping on synchronization, varieties of technologies that they are doing. And what Active Directory is doing is Active Directory is also a standalone server and it is replicating that. So sometimes you require one or other replication technology to do that. So we don't want a single point of failure at any point at the database level also. In that tire, yeah, we call this as a tire. So in that tire, we want a high availability there also. Yeah. This is called as SQL always on that and very super good. And when you talk about normal cluster of file server, normal server cluster is over here. Let me just drop that color server. And you have a disk here. Okay, that's my disk where sign is there and I have a disk here and no, let me just go to this green. This is active and this is passive. 
Yeah. So here, the disk is a single point of failure when both the servers are of no use. So in order to overcome, they are having still file server cluster is there. That is the reason that uh, they say that DFS can be used for it, where the database can also be replicated. Where you think that customer is asking about uh, database to be replicated, then you give them the option of DFS. And the files are available. Ask them, use DFS, which will have multiple copies of it. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do the practical. Agenda is to get the server host and create this type of scenario. And why this type of scenario is still in a super file server and cluster, I'll tell you that also. Shortly, I'm coming up with the phase two of it. This is phase one of this cluster. 